Hello all, uh, this is just a, an update video, <clears throat> it's regarding the where the once Audion Cinema stood here at Dundee's Stark Leisure Park. Uh, the demolition started a couple of months ago, I've been cataloguing the demolition as it's been going on, just showing you the different stages of it disappearing basically, um, and it's just now just showing you the update of what the current land is like today on the Monday the 5th of December 2022 so I'm just showing you what it's like now so all the demolition bulldozers and machinery is all gone now the last time I was here there was lots of rubble um, there's just like this big pile here that's been left that would be where they put it probably fed it through a machine to break it down grad granulate it down into smaller parts so the uh, cinema note is all gone, sadly. Um, what I'll do is I'll turn it around and I'll go around to all the areas that I went to when I was filming during the demolition. So you can just see how much land that it took up. It wasn't an awful lot. Once it's gone it doesn't seem that much now, really. I didn't take up that much room and it's quite a disappointment, it's quite sad really because it was only built in 1993, it was lasted up until about 2001 and then it was closed down for a good 20 years before they finally bulldozed it down. So the neighbouring building is the Bingo building and all the buildings that are built in the Stark Leisure Park have got some kind of pattern that resembles the patterns that were on the Cox's Stark Tower. It's an old former duty mill tower way back in the 1800s. Uh, Cox's brothers, there's a lot of history towards it. But the park is built with that in mind. All the patterns up here and everything uh, was all to resemble the original uh, design pattern which is on the big Cox's Stark Tower that uh, I zoomed in on earlier. So, I'm just making my way up to Harefield, Harefield Road and I'll show you the, the um, views from the areas where I was filming the demolition from. So that's just Harefield Road up there and this is looking down towards where the cinema was. Well, that's the part that I was talking about earlier. And the cinema had that design of brickwork and parklands on it as well. If you haven't saw already, if you want to, if you haven't seen this uh, already or any of my videos regarding the audience cinema at the Dundee Star Leisure Park, then you could go back on my channel because I've put quite a few up. If you're wanting to see my videos of what I took of it. So I'll get myself from the other side as well, because I took views and video footage from there also. That road, by the way, that's the service road that goes into the range shopping centre. That's the cost of stack there in the background. And you can see the patterns on them.
So that's where I, this is where I've done a lot of filming from when they were doing the demolition. Um, so now the ground and land will just be awaiting for the the, the property developers. Uh, the plan is to build a a new range shopping centre. Oh no, sorry, uh, not a range, a home bargains shopping centre. The plan is to build a new home bargain shopping centre there. Already they've got a shop in, um, a home bargains in that building. That was the old Zap Zone originally. It was built back in 1992. It started off as the Zap Zone, sort of leisure park kind of thing. Fun sort of thing. Yeah, lasers and stuff, you know. Uh, Zap Zone it was called. Uh, and then it was changed to the Mega, Mega Bowl. And eventually it's ended up being divided into two. One half's the home bargains and the other half is the Aldi. Aldi shopping centre. So we've actually already have a home bargains here, but the plan is to build a new one where the once audience cinema stood. So that's it. It's sad that it's all gone. See, so all the demolition crew are away. They'll be doing the rubber. Uh, they were just in, done their jobs, got it demolished, uh, demolished, and then away. That's it. Took them a few months and it's gone just like that. You know, the building sat there for 21 years, er, derelict, empty, and they um, decided just to pull it down. So I did go to that cinema when it was opened way back in 2001. No matter what it was before that, would be probably 1999, 2000 or something like that. I watched a few films, not many, but it's when they built the. Sign Cine World, just along the road a bit there, uh, near the Camperdown uh, Country Park. They opened that up in 1996, 97 thereabouts. And then, maybe about a couple of years later, a few years later, they, not that much, maybe well, two or three years later, they opened up a big Audion, right at the Douglasfield side of the city, at the other end, to the east, towards the east side of the city. So this smaller cinema, this was a smaller one compared to the other two, that one had about, I think it was four, maybe five screens at the most, four or five. The other cinemas have, well the Sign World has nine screens, the Cine World. Uh, the other audience, the big audience at the other side of the city, near Douglas Field, uh, Milton of Craigie, that kind of area, um, that's got probably about nine or ten, nine or ten screens. So when these two cinemas are built, this one here in the centre, this was a smaller one, this was built first in 1992 and, well actually it was opened in 93 so it didn't really, I, I just don't, I think that's the reason why it closed down early because it was just not able to uh, compete with the other two so. but it laid derelict for years and years and finally they've demolished it to build another home bargain so there you go, anyway I've done an update on you for you just to show you what the land's like um, I'll try and catalogue what happens to the land, the development work in the future for you as well. I'll try and do that for you. So I'll just see what I put on the channel. I'll try and keep a tab on what's going on. Okay, so let's just say that is what it's like now today on the 5th of December 2022 here at the Dundee Stark Leisure Park. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.